Spotting oil spills as soon as possible is a priority for the offshore oil and gas industry. And now they have a helping hand, artificial intelligence. Norwegian marine data specialists, the Miros Group, say they are using AI to assess the state of the sea around offshore installations in order to figure out if the surface of the water has been contaminated. Here's the company's CEO, Marius Fifa Orset. So our contribution into the overall picture of avoiding oil spills and the negative impacts of that is to detect the oil spill immediately. Uh, when something would happen. So we do an uh, automatic 24-7 uh, uh, detection that would give the, the operators an alert that there is a probable oil spill taking place and they would need to uh, look into it and take their uh, re required action to cope with it. So we really are in the early phase and, uh, and trying to mitigate uh, the potential of any spills by that. The company uses traditional maritime radars to create an image of the sea's surface that's then analysed by AI to assess wave measurements. When oil hits the surface, the ripples normally caused by wind are calmed and the area becomes flat. Miros says it can detect that flat area and use analytics on top to assess the damage and extent of a spill. Yeah, I would say the very latest technology we are using is our latest release called the Predictify. And they also say that their technology can be used to predict future sea states. But actually telling you that in like two minutes there's going to be coming in a wave of four minutes high, four meters high, and that's going to give you a three meters heave or motion on your vessel. That's really a breaking new technologies and uh, make, made available with the AI and the, and the computing you have available these days. Miros says that the accuracy of the initial information and data sourced by AI is key to meaningful results, as well as generally improving the efficiency and safety of offshore operations. Uh, so when you know that you have a um, serious wave coming in, you probably want to avoid uh, having people going over a gangway or uh, lifting heavy stuff into the, into the sea. On the other side, if you know that you have a really calm period uh, ahead, you can use the opportunity to transfer people in a safe way.